Hey guys, it is Sunday, May 11th, and I have my husband behind me, and you can't really see him, he's off screen. Um, but we are going to do the uh, some key runs in Diablo to show you guys kind of how it works, and I'll be editing it because we might have to do it a few times, but once we're done, um, we're going to do one, I'm going to show you how to make the Infernal Machines and we'll run one so you guys can see how it works, so let us jump right into it. So we'll start with that one, dear. Yes, sir. Okay. So, in Act 1, the Key Warden is in Fields of Misery. Now, the Key Warden shows up no matter what difficulty you're playing, but the Key will only drop in Torment 1 through 6, and Torment 1, it has a 25% chance or 20% chance? 25. 25, and then Torment 2 is... 28% chance? And then it just keeps going up every time. So we're doing it on Torment 1 because that's about all we can safely survive, I think, right now, and it's pretty easy. Um, so I'm just gonna mess it but all you have to do is just run around the area and try and find them. Okay, here we go. So the first one is Ode. My hate is, is too low. a jailer. There's a mortar on the face. Molt in the face. And he has a fiery trail behind you. And he kind of runs away, which is not good. He's evasive, so yeah, he kind of just kind of hopes it and he can also find the user. There we go. And then the actual will explode after, so make sure you're not there. And he's pulled him into this group. So he didn't drop anything from me, but he has a chance to drop. The key of bones. So everything is kind of by acts um, in terms of the keys. It's all kind of organized like that. So the first key is the key of bones that drops off of this guy. Alright, let us go to Act 2. And Act 2 is in the Dalgar Oasis. This is probably the most annoying one to try and get. It takes quite a long time to go through the whole area if you haven't found him. Sometimes you're lucky and he's just right there. But yeah. Ooh, cool of a function. Hello. This is the guy that always kills me. I'm injured. Ops down. Fire. I wish I could do that. There we go. Oh, hey! And he dropped the key of I feel high. better now. Which is the actual one for Act 2. This is. Okay. Yay! Alright. So. That's the Act 2 one. And so he is mortar and he spins and he has a missile dampening shield thingamajigger. Alright, Act 3 is the Stone Fort. This one's a little bit more straightforward. It's um, it's very big, but it's very linear, so there it's not like you have to do a lot of backtracking if you explore every little nook and cranny. So this guy throws ice around with his own and he This guy drops the key of war. Did you get one? No. Oh, good. Okay. And the last one is in Act 4. There actually isn't anything in Act 5 um, for this one at all. And so we go to Act 4 and we go to the Silver Spire level 1. Um, now all of these guys have a chance to drop the... Actually, I'll explain that later. It's fine. We'll explain that once we get back to the Black Spire once we've killed the last guy. Alright, so... Oh, and here he is. That was quick. This guy fears, and he also, uh, is, is pretty, he is not black, and he needs to kill him pretty quickly, and he goes to the boy, and he's so black. Not enough hatred. Drop. Drop. Alright, so, him drop, this guy drops the key of war, or key of evil, rather, so. We will go back to I town, returning to town, and I will explain how it all works, essentially. So, I have one of the keys, so I'll just kind of show you how I have it set. Yeah. 
What does one say? Um, so I have it in my stash. Where are we? Okay, I so I have alone. one key of bones, three keys of gluttony, three keys of war, and I need keys of evil. And the keys of evil are the only ones that don't actually look like keys. And once you get all four, you um, each of the bosses has a chance to. Um, each one of the key wardens will drop the pattern um, for the infernal machine. And once you learn it, you learn all four of these. Bones, Gluttony, War, and Evil. And this infernal machine here was for the level 61. So these, you make one of them, any of them, it doesn't matter, um, and you fight specific bosses. But you need to get an item off of the bosses from each one. So um, you saw, maybe, hopefully I'll go back, I have this, the Idol of Terror. So the Idol of Terror comes off when you fight the war bosses. So the bosses are over here. So the first one technically is Bones because it's the Act 1. And it is the Skeleton King and Magda, right? Yeah, okay. So if you make the Infernal Machine of Bones, you will take the item, you will go to Act 1 into the special room where you did for this level 60 Hellfire Ring, which once we get enough keys, I will we'll actually show you how we run it. Um, and you will click that portal machine, it'll open up a portal and you'll fight the Skeleton King and Magda. And you will, it will drop the item, Leoric's Regret. Hopefully, if you luck out. Um, the next one is Gluttony. And for Infernal Machine of Gluttony, that one is Gom and... No. What's the Gluttony one? Um, no, it's Gom. It's Gom and Rakanoth? No. I yeah. can't remember now. Yeah. Gom and Rakanoth. And then the other one is Sold and Cool and Siegebreaker. Okay, and then War is Zoltan Cool and Siegebreaker. So the, the Gluttony one drops the Vile of Putridus. War is Zoltan Cool and Siegebreaker. And that one is the Idol of Terror, which is the one I have. And then Evil, um, you fight Diablo. And then at 75% and 50%, he will spawn a, one of the other six bosses randomly. And you'll have to fight that in him. And then when he spawns to 25%, he'll spawn, he'll basically illusion, and you'll have two extra guys with the exact same health and attack, and you have to kill them pretty quick. We've never fought Diablo, so that's the one that we're going to show you, and hopefully we don't die once we get there. Um, but then once you get all four, you go to Torment level, and you go to... I will go there quickly. You need to go to Torment, and you go to the Hidden Camp in Act 2. And you talk to Squirt the Peddler, I and she sells the steal from me. plan Hellfire Ring instead of the design. So that's the old, that's the level 61. This is the level 71. So you can see um, it requires level artisan level 12, which comes with the new expansion. And that is how you make, you take all four of those parts, the Lyrics Regret, the Vile of Putridus, the Idol of Terror, and the Heart of Evil, and you turn them into the Hellfire Ring. And it works pretty much exactly like the old Hellfire Ring. Obviously the stats are a bit better and it requires level... Uh, there's no level requirement, but it has the stats of a level 70 item as opposed to a level 60 item. So you'll get the experience bonus and the extra and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep going until we each get enough keys to make an Infernal Machine, okay? Any more okay, so it took us 15 bazillion more runs, but I finally got an Act 4 key. So. I will show you how this works now. Or we will show you. So you're gonna go to your you're gonna get the pattern, which will drop off one of those four key wardens, and then you're gonna go to forge weapons, either right on here or click on the weapon one. And so you can see I have all four now. So we can pick either gluttony, we can go bones, we can go war, we can go evil. So the one that we haven't done yet is evil, correct? Yes. Okay. So we're going to make the evil one. So craft costs a hundred thousand gold. That's it. There it is. Looks like this. So the place where you go to do it, you have to be in Act One, and you need to break down this door. It doesn't show up until you actually break break it down. Then you'll go in here, and if you have you have, if you made the Hellfire Ring um, back before the expansion, the level sixty one, same idea, um, but you had to kind of hope you got the right ones. This way, you can pick, and it's a lot easier to farm, I guess. So, you're going to open up your inventory, and you're just going to click on the portal, and it's going to open it up. And you're going to click on it, and so, Realm of Fright, defeat the soul of evil. And here we go. Oh boy. Alright. Where 
as we. So at 75% health, oh, no, okay. um, he's going to spawn a boss, one of the other, one of the six. So the Nightmare goes darker. So who did he spawn? He spawned Seedbreaker. Okay. So we need to buy him trapped. Okay, I'm going to I got it too! Yay! So that's how that works. So, we will town portal. Oh, thank the Lord, because that was insane. That was definitely the hardest. That was crazy. Okay, so, now that I have that, I will show you what I'm going to do. So I line it up where Act 1, essentially, the first key, the second key, the third key, the fourth key. So my little heart of evil can now go here. Once you have all four parts, you will go to the Act 2 vendor like I showed you, you will buy that pad and then you can make the hell firing. So, that is how you do it. That is it. Uh, we're gonna keep farming it until we each get the four parts to make it, but that is it for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you found that helpful. Special thank you to the uh, lovely men behind me for giving me a hand. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.